Hello, I'm Lawrence Anthony, and in this video, I'm going to explain how to get started with the Ancon Corpus Toolkit. So, first I'll give you a little background to the software, then I'll show you how to download the software and start it, next I'll show you how to load a corpus of texts into the software, and then I'll finish by showing you how to start analysing your corpus with the various tools inside Ancon. So, Anconc is a general purpose corpus analysis toolkit. It works on Windows, Macintosh and Linux computers and it's used by corpus linguists, translators, language teachers and students around the world. If you want to know more about how to use Anconc, there are video tutorials on YouTube and in other places on the web made by various people. And of course, there is this tutorial set here. So, the software can be used to analyse English text and text in virtually any other language in the world, including Japanese, Chinese and Korean, basically any language supported by the Unicode standard. The software can work with plain text and also tagged or annotated text. So, Anconc is a single file executable program. It looks like this. So let me show you how to download and start using this software. So to download the software, you need to go to my website, which is listed here, but uh, you may find that the URL has changed since this video was created. Anyway, then you would go down to the software page, and here you'll see Anconc at the top and the various versions that are available for Windows, Macintosh and Linux. You then just click on the version that you are wanting to download and a pop-up dialog will appear. You click save and then you can save it onto your desktop. After you've saved it, it will look like this. It might look a little different on Macintosh and Linux computers. But, basically, if you want to then start the software, you don't need to install it. You just double click on the software and it starts. So, after you start Anconc, it looks like this. You can see it starts with just a blank area. On the left here is where the corpus files will appear, and on the right here is the results area. And here you can see the different tabs for the different tools that Anconc offers. So, if you want to view a file, you would click on the File View tool. If you want to make a word list, you click on the Word List tool. And if you want to search for a word and see how it is used in context, you click on the Concordance tool. So, let me show you how to load a corpus of text into Anconc and do some analysis. So first you go to file and here you can open the corpus files directly or you can open a whole directory of files with the open directory option. The open files option is a little more flexible so I'll use that here. So we click on open files and here you'll need to navigate to your corpus and in this demonstration I'm using the brown corpus, which is a 1 million word corpus of general English. And I'll use the untagged version. So I open the folder, and here I can drag and select the files I want. Or I can shift click the files that I want to select for a group of files, or I can use control click to select non sequential files. But perhaps the most convenient option is to use a shortcut like Control A uh, to select all the files and just open those into the software. So you can see now that we have here the corpus files. There are 15 of them and we're ready to start the analysis. Before we start the analysis though, I always recommend that you first just make sure that the corpus has loaded correctly into the software by viewing one of them. So, just to make sure, I'll go to the file view 
I'll click on the first file in the corpus and we can see that it's fine. It looks okay and we're ready to start. So let's make a word list of the brown corpus to see how many words are in the corpus and what those words are. So I'm going to click on the word list tool here. I then go down and just click on start at the bottom of the screen and the software will now go through all the files counting the words and then displaying them in the middle here. So we can see here that there are 41,000 490 word types. There are just over a million word tokens and the most frequent word is the and you can see the frequencies here. So that's how to get started with Ankonk. Thank you.